Hello, welcome to this video. This video is an introduction to Schottky and FERD eTool. Schottky and FERD eTool is a software developed by ST Microelectronics to help designers to easily explore electrical characteristics of power Schottky and field effect rectifiers to quickly perform power losses calculation using application waveforms. The reason why this tool was developed comes from a very simple observation. The most basic way to compare products is to compare their data sheets. This is a slow and tedious process. Reading values on data sheet curves can be quite imprecise and it is easy to make mistakes. In addition of that, if you want to estimate power losses, the procedure is even longer. Then the question is, what if we had a tool that could do all these repetitive tasks for us? Here comes Shotkey and FERD eTool. We have developed it exactly for this reason. The tool is accessible online and runs directly in your internet browser. You can access to the software from this link. The main layout of Shotkey and FERD eTool is quite simple. On the top, you can select the language of the user interface. Today, English and Chinese are proposed. In the info menu, a user manual is available as a PDF file. It contains all the information necessary to use the software. In the center, you can see a collection of diodes. The tool contains almost all power shot key and field effect rectifiers offered by ST Microelectronics on the market. On the left, several search and filter functions are available, allowing to find easily a part number. To select a diode, just click on the basket icon. Once a diode is selected, it appears in the selection list at the bottom. From there, it is possible to explore the diode characteristics, function of junction temperature. The tool offers two ways to explore diode's electrical characteristics, a dynamic table and dynamic electrical characteristics plots. First, let's introduce the dynamic table. Typical forward voltage and typical leakage current values are shown at two temperatures by default 25 and 125 degrees Celsius. Forward voltage are given at two current levels, IF1 and IF2. By default, IF2 corresponds to current rating of the diode, IF1 is half of IF2. Leakage current is given at reverse voltage, VR, which is set by default to voltage rating of the diode. All these parameters can be changed in table options and values are updated according to the new parameters. Note that parallel configurations can be analyzed up to six dice in parallel. Click on forward chart to launch forward voltage plot. By default, typical forward voltage curves are shown at 25 and 125 degrees Celsius. By moving the mouse cursor over the curves, you can read numeric values. Curves at other temperatures can be added or removed. Maximum forward voltage can be plotted by clicking on the corresponding button. Forward current range can be changed by clicking on chart options. Reverse characteristics plot shows leakage current function of reverse voltage. It works in the same way as forward chart. Dynamic table and dynamic plots are powerful features. They make possible to explore diodes electrical characteristics at any biased condition and junction temperature. We can use them to make quick comparison between diodes. For example, let's compare a field effect diode to a shot key diode. 
FERD20H100 STS versus STPS20H100 CT. STPS20H100 CT has a dual diodes configuration with common cathode. So let's connect the two dice in parallel to make an equivalent diode to the field effect one. We can observe that the field effect diode FERD20H100STS offers lower forward voltage over the Schottky diode, especially at low current, which is a good advantage in rectification diode of flyback converters. The other important feature of Schottky and FERDE tool is the power losses calculation module. To launch this module, you must have at least one diode selected. Power losses calculation is done in a two steps procedure. The first step is to reproduce the application waveforms using a waveform editor. The second step is to associate created waveforms to selected diodes to obtain power losses. Let's introduce waveform editor module. This module allows to reproduce application current and voltage waveform patterns. To make this process simple, most common patterns of current voltage of switch mode power supplies are already predefined. The user has just to set amplitude, on time, off time, and switching period. For more complicated waveform, it is possible to import a waveform defined in a text file. Please refer to the user manual for more details about this procedure. Once a waveform is set, click on OK. The waveform is then available to make power losses calculation. Now we can create one or several power losses simulations by associating created current voltage waveforms with selected diodes. In this example, we only have one diode selected and one waveform. Let's create a simulation. If you have several diodes in parallel, you can specify it in the simulation configuration up to six dice in parallel. The power losses are now ready. Click on the refresh button to show the results. This plot allows to explore power losses of the diodes. For shut key and field effect diodes, we only have conduction and reverse power losses. We can observe the well-known effect of the exponential dependence of leakage current with temperature of shut key diodes. So the power losses curve function of junction temperature is very useful for assessing safe temperature limit in application. The tool gives the possibility to analyze different combinations of power losses. Conduction only, typical or maximum, reverse only, typical or maximum, or total power losses, which is the sum of conduction and reverse power losses. You can export the figure as an image or export the data as a text or CSV file to work on it in a spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel. Previously, we compared electrical characteristics of a field effect diode versus a shot key diode. In the same way, we can also perform power losses comparison Again, let's compare FERD20H100STS and STPS20H100CT. First, we have to define current and voltage waveform. This waveform shows current and voltage pattern that can be found in a rectification diode of a 19 volts, 40 watts flyback notebook adapter. Next, we define a simulation profile for each diode. Calculated power losses show the advantage of the field effect diode that has been observed in electrical characteristics curves. Up to 120 degrees Celsius, FERD20H100STS offers lower power losses, which means 
we can expect better efficiency in the power supply. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoy using Shotkey and FERDE tool.